Hey, welcome to my vlog today and today we are going to show you Nama Collin Resort which is located in Farmington, PA which is 90 minutes from Pittsburgh and this is the very first building you'll encounter when you come and this is the Chateau uh, where you, there is a main check-in desk you'll check in here and there are different options you can stay at Chateau the grand which is under renovation this video is being made in June of 2023 the renovation work of the grand will be completed in uh, August of 2023 the peak falling rocks town home and single family home so let's go ahead and check it out but before that see like it's beautiful surroundings in here so let's go and check out Chateau This is an extremely big resort in 2200 acres and you have like 24-7 these uh, shuttles running on demand, they are very quick and you also get uh, e-bikes which are complimentary. Now I'm going to enter the lobby of Chateau. So this is how it looks like, nice decoration, uh, welcome bar. This is the front uh, desk sign-in area and you can walk around the lobby during the check-in they give you complimentary sparkling wine or apple cider for the kids check out the beautiful lobby you can sit here sip a drink relax and this is on the back end and you can see the right behind the chateau there is a small airstrip where if you're coming by a your small private plane you can just land here and check in into the chateau gets back let's get back into the lobby This is their cigar room where you can enjoy our scotch, bourbon and a cigar. Opens like at 6 p.m. and opens through late in the night. Now heading towards Rockwell Bistro. Uh, this is a place where you can have your lunch, breakfast, lunch and dinner. It's, we had our breakfast this morning. It's absolutely amazing and beautiful, nice interiors. I can show you a peak from here. Really beautiful. Within the chateau, now I'm heading towards their cafeteria or the bakery shop. Patisserie, that's, I hope that's how they call it. This is their menu. And this is how it looks like. Really nice collection very beautiful nice decorative items and then there's a nice shop here obviously things are pretty expensive but nice okay now heading out of the share to lobby area right now and let me stop and show you the next stop So to give you an idea, this was our main entrance, this is Chateau and right next to that is our next building where you can stay. Unfortunately, the Grand Lodge is under renovation right now and it will be reopening in a couple of months in August 2023. But right now I'm in front of the Grand Lodge which is 5 minutes walk and this part has our first pool which is Paradise Pool and we were here last evening. so. It's a heated pool, you have a nice jacuzzi and adult only section, so let's go and check out. You have a swimmer bar here, the pool is heated, really nice. And in case you forget your sunscreen, you have complimentary sunscreen right here. That's a jacuzzi right in front. And 
that's an adult only section with their own jacuzzi and pool with no disturbance and this upper tier is for family use and they have a nice one slide this is a pretty big resort uh, there are three modes of transportation you can use either your vehicle I'm using it right now so that I can speed up this part of video and uh, the other way is having e-bikes let me put my seat belt in Uh, e-bikes or their complimentary shuttles all very nice like, but you can see like these are tennis courts pickleball court so they'll give you a car pass or a tag so that every time you pass through they will open the gates and don't have to stop you and inquire very nice landscaping done nice trails well illuminated you have bicycle paths and the mini golf is complimentary Right here they have a pride and joy airplane hangar let me check it out if I can go inside and have a look at these small old planes timing of operation Vintage plane, vintage US mail. Tattoo, uh, Grand Lodge, you'll come. The third in the geographical location is Peak. And here is a great activity center. You can see there is a rock climbing wall, and it's like $15 for the kids. And behind that, you can see. There are other activities for the kids to climb and behind this is also a ropeway which is unfortunately closed right now and there is a ski lift so in winters if you come in a ski this is where you catch your ski lift okay let's get inside the lobby so getting into the lobby It's a nice fire burning area. Let's check what's up upstairs. One level above the lobby area of the peak, you have a nice bar area and a dining area. Overlooking its big nice pool, which I'm going to show you in a second. I just walked out into this open area and now I'm on the terrace and let me show you a nice area to sit in the evening and have a nice view of the surrounding sun setting so you have nice concert area where they were performing giving performances early this morning as of now they are on a break the pool is very heated and they have a nice lazy river let me show you and that is the sky lift And this is the bar by the stage and that's your rock consult area very nice and impressive huge a pool swim up bar and this is nice little lazy river pretty relaxing So again this is pool at the peak and they have a nice activity area this is the area behind that stage there is a summer tubing area the charges are $40 $39 every individual one and a half hours you can do unlimited for one and a half hours this is a nice shop this is the ticket window you have to sign a waiver buy your ticket for the uh, summer tubing you get your harness e-bikes our complimentary saga way you can rent it and here it is activity rules for all of those 
So here I just learned that they have these Jeeps. You can do off-roading. Now if the driver drives, you just ride along. It's $130 per person. If you want to rent it and drive for off-roading, uh, then it's around $400, $500. Right in front of Peak, you have this merry-go-round or carousel, which is actually complimentary. Really nice surroundings to enjoy the view. No lines, nothing. Unlimited ride. I really loved it. Near Peak, there's another restaurant. Like this is outside the peak, five minutes walk. Uh, Bara Tola. This is Bara Tola. Let me show you from their deck. Nice place to sit, have a drink, catch up on. I think they also serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm not too sure. I didn't eat here. Let me show you. So, this is a scene outside and they have different labels so right now i'm going into falling rocks that's one of the another hotel buildings pretty exclusive let's go and see the uh, hotel lobby first this is the hotel lobby Now there's an amber bar menu where you can get some vegetarian options. I'm vegetarian. I am pretty delighted with the food quality and the service over here. Now let's get out to their infinity pool, which is only allowed for the guests staying at the Falling Rocks Hotel building. So I'm on the rear end of the Falling Rocks Hotel building with the infinity pool. Their pool is only allowed to the guests staying over here. This is one of the best places to come and have a sunset picture. Especially they have made that heart shaped uh, statue there. And you can stand there, enjoy the sunset, click nice pictures and a nice view of the golf course. And this is their seafood restaurant Aquarius, which is uh, located inside the Falling Rocks building. Again, the hotel lobby of Falling Rocks, and that was Aquarius. And you have an amber bar menu, which is separate. So lunch is served over here in the lobby, and dinner is inside the Aquarius, or you can have outdoor seating. Right in front of the Falling Water, across you can see a nice driving range and a nice practice putting area this is mainly a golf resort for the summers and in winters you also have a ski facility uh, apart from there there are a lot of activities for this trip this is where i'm staying in the, the townhomes uh, these are two bedroom townhomes and before i show you inside let me show you what's outside let's walk right right in front of you see those uh, uh, metal fencing that's where the zoo is you can see animals out in the open so let's go and check out so that's right in front are the townhomes where I'm staying and then you have these fire pits like you can find them everywhere in the resort last time and you have to call the front desk they light the fire and then you can continue through the night and so townhomes fire pit and animals right in front so let's see if we can catch this is noon time not the best time to spot animals but early morning late evening they just pretty much walk around and you can hear the lion and different animals let's see what i can spot right now this is a cage for white bengal ti tiger i think it's inside i saw him last evening pretty beautiful let's go and drive for the next cage here you can see the king of the jungle won't be able to see on the video but there is a mountain lion sleeping underneath the rocks so this is not the best time as I told you it's noon time but they have like Alaskan grey wolf, tigers, white tiger, mountain lion, bears, buffaloes. Uh, let me show you now inside the inside my town home how it looks. So here we are in the town home. This is a small kitchen. It actually is a kitchen. Let me quickly show you. Uh, this is a sitting area. Let's go out and this is the backyard let me walk up the stairs and show you
then let's walk up the stairs. Okay, this is one of the bedrooms, pretty nice. And the closet. Windows looking into the backyard. Let's check out the other room. Shower. And this is the other bedroom. Ah, oh, with a nice closet. Pretty nice. Conclude this video. I must say that this is a nice place with really great surface, high class, food quality is amazing. The resort is kind of pricey, but you get what you pay for. And this is a final shot from the peak. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a nice day.